Good morning. What's going on everyone? Welcome back. In today's video, we're fishing our last kayak tournament of the 2023 season. It's crazy to see that the tournament season is finally coming to end, but this weekend we got a special one. It is the Kayak Fishing Northwest Kayak Bass Classic, which is basically our TOC, a tournament champions, our championship. It's crazy to think that after this weekend, the whole season's coming to an end. I mean, wow, what a season full of up and downs. But nonetheless, this weekend's gonna be interesting. As you can see, we're in the garage. Our championship is about 30 minutes away from my house. At least where I'm gonna launch is 30 minutes from the house. So got to sleep in my own bed last night. Starting today, we have two days on the Upper Willamette River in Oregon. It's a body of water that honestly I'm not a big fan of. Fortunately, last year at one of our regular events, I did win the tournament last year, but that was a different time of the year and Honestly, I'm kind of worried about this event. During this time of year, schedule's pretty busy. Got full-time work, full-time school for my marketing degree, and yeah, I did not get a chance to pre-fish this week. What I'm really worried about is that conditions are constantly changing. I got to pre-fish last weekend. It was 80 degrees, bluebird skies, beautiful weather, and this entire week it's been raining, it's been overcast, and it's not going to be any better this weekend. It's going to continue raining some more. While pre-fishing last weekend, I found a pot of fish and there's some decent ones. You know, I, this river doesn't take much to win. My prediction is about 75 inches a day. If you can get that two days in a row, I think you can possibly win this tournament with that. But one thing about these changing conditions is that the water's going to keep getting dirty from all the rain, all that water's just going to get pushed into the river, it's going to muddy up the banks and push it all the way down river. And along with that, the current's going to start pushing even more. My concern about that is that our fish may not be set up the way they were last weekend and unfortunately there's a chance that they may not even be there anymore. The goal for today is to try to get that 75 inch mark. I got an area that has some better than average fish. I don't exactly know how many is there, but for the most part, they're about 15 to 16 inches from last weekend, and hopefully we can go there, catch five. The goal for today is to only catch what we need and save the rest for tomorrow. That's the thing about these two-day tournaments. You can't just burn out your areas. You need to be able to be smart and save them for tomorrow so that you can back it up again. In a perfect world, I'm hoping we can hit a couple other spots, you know, catch some 13, 14 inchers and go down there and maybe catch like three of our fish off that spot. If it's fully loaded for some reason, yeah, we're definitely gonna just lean on them today. One kicker today will go a long ways, you know, like a 17, 18, 19, 20 incher, you know, they're in there. Not easy to come by, but one of those today would go a long ways. But yeah, it is currently 5.14, about 30 minutes from the boat launch. I'm just taking my time getting ready. We launch at 6.40, lines in at 7, and we gotta be lines out at 3 o'clock. Finish up our coffee, get the kayak all loaded up, and head to the ramp. See what happens. This is day one of the Kayak Fishing Northwest Kayak Bass Classic. Good thing nobody went downriver. Might be able to hit a couple spots for our main area, which would be nice. All right, let's do this. Lines in. Nice thing is nobody went downriver for me, and we got fish blowing up right here, kind of close to the launch. Let's see if we can get one of these fish to go. I think they're all little, but chasing bait or something. Current is definitely flowing hard right now. It's supposed to rain a little bit later. 
I think a little bit after one o'clock. Water definitely came up since last weekend, that's for sure. Water temps 58.9, definitely a lot lower. 63 last weekend, water temps definitely dropping. Still pretty worried that some of the fish might be, um, Heck was that? I'm worried about my main area of this current the chance that uh this fish could be uh gone. The current just pushes them off where I was fishing. Current. The current's kinda of flowing pretty hard over here. I gotta make a move. First 15 minutes, let's see uh anybody catch a fish yet. 14 and a quarter. Keeper? That's a keeper. Holy smokes. Well, number one, 12 incher. It took a while. Little guy. There we go. What? <laughs> Dang! Hit it at like a hundred miles an hour. I don't even think that's twelve. Dang! That's cool though. Oh, is that a squall? It is a squall. Dang. Trash fish. Ugh. And that is a squall fish. I think it's a keeper. What a grind. Number two, 12 and a quarter. Oh, come on, dude. I felt like a better one. Yo. How's it going? Uh, I got two little keepers. I haven't gone to my primary spot yet. I'm just kind of working my way. Yeah. That feels a little better. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, come on. Get in here. No, no, no. A little better. Better, better than 12 inches. <laughs> 12 and a half. Yeah. There's like a rogue boat, dude. There's like a fucking jet up below the river. Yeah. I just got another one, another keeper. <laughs> it's just loaded right here of just 12 inches. I think it's not even 12. Lime burner. There you go. Half. 
don't even know. Is that four or is that five? <laughs> I think that's only four. Freaking squall fish, dude. Come on. Oh my god, dude. Stupid. There's so much ground. Oh, that's freaking go. I knew those fish here. All right, here we go. There we go. 17 and three quarter. Didn't think we'd get one of these. Well, that's one of the ones we needed. Hopefully this means the bite is going to pick up a little bit more. And let it go. See ya. Crazy bit like right in front of the kayak maybe we need to throw some reaction with this current and everything maybe that's the deal just all this stuff that's floating in the water is making it so difficult it just keeps getting caught up in the line and everything Super pig. What a grind. 14 inch or at least. There we go, 14. I think these fish are starting to wake up a little bit. Be decent. I don't think it's decent. Nope. Oh, that helped. Oh, there we go. That help. Need some fifteens, man. I don't think he's gonna do anything. Oh yeah, no oh, cool. Cool something at least. Thirteen and a quarter. Good one. Hope you're a fish. Yeah, fish. Ow.
13 and a half. Here. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad one. Take that right now. Just a little bit deeper, I guess. There we go. These are the type of fish that I was seeing last time. I guess we just gotta be a little patient. 18 incher. Swung right ones. Alright. Come on. Maybe he's just warming up a little bit. Now they wanna eat. A couple more 18s. That's what we need right now. I just don't know where all these fish went. There was a lot of fish here. Hold up, I got one. Oh god, it's another good one. Boom, 16, I think. <laughs> oh god. Oh, cool. Cole. I think that was, that's the 16 I've been looking for. Hopefully it's 16. It's pretty long. Uh, we'll find out. Come on. Oh yeah, it's over 16. <laughs> I don't like this end of the day bite. 16 and a quarter. There we go, 16 and a quarter. Damn, them boys catching them. I said them boys catching them today. Crazy. Let's see what I have. 79 and a half. I'm in fifth, you're in fourth. Still some here. It's definitely not as many as there was before. Oh, I just got another one. Get in the net. I don't think it'll cool though. I don't even remember what's my smallest fish. I think it's like a 13 and a half. Yeah, he won't even call. Last cast. Oh, that's it. All right, y'all. Well, that's it. Man, what a grind. Honestly, got pretty lucky with three of those fish. There was a, a school of fish that was down here that were much smaller last weekend, and they're not there no more. So, I don't know. Guess it could be worth coming back here. Maybe they might reload. I think there's some fish here that probably haven't been caught yet. I think that's what we're gonna do. Currently, unofficially in fifth place. 79 and a half inches, not bad. It was, I mean, looking to get 75 and we got more than that, but 89 inches is leading, 88 and a quarter, 87 and a half, and 86. That's ahead of us, so yeah, pretty crazy. Didn't expect limits to be this big. We'll see, I don't know. I'm not sure if we can catch them the same tomorrow, but there's a chance that these individuals might not be able to catch them tomorrow, so. We'll see what happens. Time to head back, go relax, retie, back at it again tomorrow. Please be a small mouth. Oh my god. Giant.